And it is my pleasure to introduce Laura May, who is the Director of Talent Development Learning Platforms at Amplify, which is one of our clients. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. And so very excited about our quick chat. To kick things off, would love to start off with if you could share a little bit about your background and the work that you currently do at Amplify. Sure. Um, so I am currently on the talent development team as a director. Uh, we are a very new talent development team, uh, less than a year old. We didn't have a learning and development program before uh, last year. Uh, we did have, I was the director of employee engagement and office operations, which meant I was in, responsible basically for all the entire workplace experience. Um, as director of employee engagement, it also meant I tried to throw together some manager training programs here and there, some independent individual con contributor programs, uh, but we didn't have anything really organized. So that that's sort of my background there. Fantastic, thank you. And so building off of that and Maxine's presentation from just now, would love to contextualize a little bit what she was talking about in terms of Sidekick and in terms of the platform as it is at the moment. So I'd love if you could dive into briefly how being able to create content with an Arist and use existing Arist content at speed has helped to solve a business problem for you all. Yeah, so our biggest problem is, is scale and time. We are a very small team, five people total. We have, with, um, with contract staff, we have over 4,000 people. So trying to train and find opportunities for learning and development for a group that size with a group our size is really difficult. Um, we have one, one of our team members who just develops e-learnings. E That's his whole job, like he just does it day and night. Um, and the rest of us have to come up with all these longer term programs. So. Having the Arist courses, uh, we find it, we're an education company. So selling learning is really easy for us and hard because yes. we have lots of teachers. Um, our CEO has a very big background in education. He's very serious about it. Uh, so content for us is really important. We need to make sure that what we're developing and we're training is spot on. They keep an eye on it. So using the, the bot, Sidekick, Sidekick, yes, <laughs> or your personal bot. <laughs> yeah, our personal bot has been really useful because we're we're getting lots of resources and um, being able to pull together that content, even if it's just the skeleton, right? So we're not we can put in four different courses. We can say uh, we need something on um, feedback, and then it's not quite right. So well, I need something on feedback that uses this method, and then we get another one, and we can pull and pick and choose the different information until we're putting together the perfect program, but saves us tons of time because we're not spending like a week putting together a training. I'm spending an afternoon, you know, kind of uh, reiterating what, what the bot has already done for me. Yeah, the sidekick, sidekick. Most definitely, and I think that it's it's such an important point also to tie together what everybody honestly has talked about today of it's never going to be perfect, and it's not perfect, but what it is able to do for you all, especially for five people and 4,000 learners, especially the fact that they all have experience in education and learning, mm -hmm. the critical eye and to meet the sentiment and the expectations takes a lot of time. Absolutely. And the five of you don't, it's, I mean, there aren't enough hours in the day. There aren't. Mathematically. And you, and you can't be an expert on everything. Exactly. You know, uh, so you, you, you use research and you have to go and that can take days and weeks and months to dig into a subject. So having the, the bot pull it up Sidekick pull it up for me really quickly. It's been really beneficial. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, either last or second to last question. <laughs> um, would love if you could speak to a little bit what sort of time save. I know we've just started to touch on it, but specifically what sort of time savings you all saw when starting to deploy via Aris, both for your team as well as the manager population. And then also, what have you all been able to do with the extra time? Yeah, so we can put the extra time, I mean, we, the time we've saved is really by creation, right? We're saving tons of time by not having to recreate, reinvent the wheel. It's, it's coming at us. Um, and we're able to, um, to put it out in real time. We don't have to, the time that we were spending creating in-person and live trainings 
and then scheduling those trainings and creating an invitation for the training. I mean, all these things, is, that takes a day, you know, to create a yeah. perfect invitation and get it and get everybody's pictures on it and then get it set up and have somebody proofread it and make sure that marketing likes the way it looks and it's, it yep. fits in with all of your marketing um, stuff. So that stuff took tons of time. It could take a week to get a, a approvals on that, on that type of, um, on that type of thing. So we save time there. It's, it's all we have to do is hit, you know, hit a button and we deliver it to an entire group of people and it's pushed out for us and I can go in and I can check every day to see who's taking the course. I love that. I can see who are the people who are taking those courses and who's taking a second course and who's choosing a course. Um, so that has all been a huge time saver and what we're able to do with that time is really dig into creating larger opportunities for learning. So yeah. really going in and digging in and meeting with our partners, you know, meeting with our HR business partners and meeting with our department heads and finding out like, what do you need? What do your learners need? What, what, what's the skill gap that you're trying to solve for? Um, so it's made us better partners because we have more time to really dig into that research and trying to come up with really good solutions to the problems that exist instead of spending time sitting at our computer creating a training, which I do enjoy. I mean, I don't not enjoy that. I mean, everybody likes to dig into that a little bit, but you don't want to do that, you know, eight hours a day, seven days a week, five days a week. Some of us work seven days a week. But. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, and I think, I think that's so powerful because I think that also ties into the panel earlier and even when Brent was mentioning the fact that we're kind of at a place now with the speed that we have to move at, you can't ask permission for everybody. And to even what Corey and Hank were speaking to, you all don't need to. Yeah. We're now in a position that you're able to move at speed and then without having to get so many pieces of approval, it empowers you to switch those approval, checking the box conversations to strategic conversations yeah. to be better partners for other departments within the business and also your learners as well. Yeah. And I just want to add, like, when we're creating the learning and uh, we're not creating, but when we're using, even when we use just the templates, even if we're not using the um, sidekick and we're just using templates from Aris, being able to customize them specifically to align with our best practices has been huge. Yeah. So that's amazing, too. Just wanted to get that one in there. Great shout out. Appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> um, uh, okay, fantastic. In the spirit, I didn't lie to you. That's that it. is actually it. So, <laughs> in the spirit of wrapping up the conference, kept it very. T are we good on time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do we want to take it? Do we have time for questions? Does anybody have any questions? Or are we ready for the outside world in the brewery? I think everyone wants a drink. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> So we only launch to managers. Yeah. Initially, yes. Initially, yes. yes. That's that's we're doing. We're in we're well into a pilot where we were doing it for manager training. So and we really did. Um, we launched the learning like we we sent it out to everybody. So we're seeing a lot of engagement. Um, although I think that we 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 discussed we see a lot we see more engagement we see people actually going in and choosing courses after after we've actually pushed it out like so we've pushed out courses as supplemental that was our that was our initial strategy it was to, like take our like in uh, instructor led trainings on say something like um, goal setting and we'll have an hour long course. And then we would set a bunch of resources together and we were using Arist as supplemental, you know, something to reinforce the learning. Uh, and that was working really well. So then we started just um, pushing out courses that we thought were, were really great, just in general, you know. And once we started doing that, um, the more we pushed out courses, the more we would see the managers <sighs> come back come back, and look into the course catalog and actually choose to learn on their own. So we didn't have to keep pushing things out. So it's been really fun to see, uh, especially those folks who are, and then you can see who your real learners are. Exactly. You know? Yeah. <laughs> the star students. Yeah, you know, the star students. I don't know if they know I can see that, but yeah, we can see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's been fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
So I wouldn't say demographic by all, like I'm not looking at an age demographic when I'm seeing more engaged learners, but what I am seeing are the new managers, the greener managers, the managers who've been promoted in the last month, two months, six months, they're the ones who are coming in and learning. You're not seeing, you. It's a, that is one problem I will say I would love to solve for mm -hmm. senior managers to actually take advantage of these learning opportunities because they don't. Um, we, we, but that's on any kind of learning that we're delivering. You generally see the um, newer managers who are earlier in their careers of, of pe managing people taking part in these trainings. And it's really hard to get those senior managers to think that they need any more training. Yeah, and they do. <laughs> any more questions No. Okay, fantastic. Well, Laura, thank you first and foremost for being a wonderful partner as well as doing this panel with me. Well, thank you, and I'm really excited about those these new things. I know, Maxine's time. presentation, yeah. same. We'll sidebar about that later. later. <laughs> um, okay, fantastic. Hank, I will pass it back to you, and thank, thank you all so much. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you.